ham on it. They're just like, I'm sorry, but uh, you're gonna be destroyed now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Mold. So happy to be here with you guys today. Uh, today was a little bit stressful for me. I had to go get new tires for my car, guys, and it took like three and a half hours, and my phone was on like 8% at the end of it. So I was clashing, and I was playing Plunder Pirates, and I was on Twitter and all this kind of stuff, and I was running out of batteries, and I was getting super stressed. But we are back, and I'm going to do something that I haven't done in a while. First of all, guys, I have a new base. Look at this thing. I'm going to let the uh, the replays build up on it and whatnot, hopefully get some good replays, um, and then review the base for you guys. <clears throat> I think that it's going to be a great, great base. So I'm excited to do a video on that in a couple of days, hopefully, as it gets attacked. But we haven't done a one-unit thing in a long time, so we're about to get all of these Valkyries, guys. We've got uh, 30 of them, and we've got some jump spells and some heal spells. I'm going to find an unsuspect... And <laughs> Come on, Mo. I'm going to find an unsuspecting... Town Hall 9, and see if we can 3-star. I don't know if we'll be able to, but we're going to find a base, and we're just going to crush them. You know, it could even be it could even be uh, a rushed, get crushed episode. Who knows what it's going to be? We're going to go find it, guys, and I'll be back with you in just a couple seconds once we find a base that these Valkyries can just dominate. All right? Oh. Yes. Yes. Mr. Artuzio from Clash of Turku is not prepared, guys. <laughs> He's not prepared for the epic woman attack that is about to happen to this base. He's not ready for it. He's literally about to get absolutely annihilated by all of these Valkyries. Here's what we're going to do. Um, let's see where we should attack from. Let's... He did, however, do a good job of making it so that my jump spell can't get straight into the center. But that's okay. I've got two of them. Here we go. We're going to come in from right over here, guys. And uh, just we're, here we go. We're, we're just going in, and we are going to heal him up, and we are just absolutely going to annihilate this guy's base. Hopefully they head into the center. There they go. And then let's go ahead and drop a jump spell right over there as well uh, for those Valkyries. And let's drop off a heal spell right up here. And uh, we'll go ahead and drop off our king and our queen. Guys, there's a jump spell there. Where are you going? All right, so some of our Valkyries are heading... Oh, giant bomb right there. We need to heal them up. <laughs> so a bunch of the Valkyries are in the middle right now. The king and queen are being uh, kind of ignorant because I made that perfect path for them with those jump spells. Uh, our Valkyries in the center, guys, are still staying up and rolling with that uh, epic heal spell that kept them alive for so long. There's another heal spell for them. It looks like we've still got, like, 20 of them up and rolling. Uh, our king is about to head into the center. These va Look at that. Watch this. Oh, <laughs> they surround it and just go ham on it. They're just like, I'm sorry, but uh, you're going to be destroyed now. Is pretty much what they're saying. Look at this massive herd. I love how they run to the center of stuff just to absolutely annihilate it. I think that we might be able to three-star this thing, guys, as long as we don't run out of time. We're going to go ahead and use our uh, king's ability right here with these Valkyries. What are they doing? Oh, nice. I guess they were just mad at that wall or something. You guys realize that that happens probably every single attack where a wall is destroyed when it doesn't need to be destroyed. I feel like that happens to me at least every single day when it comes to uh, any base that I'm attacking, no matter where it is, and whether I'm using my king, my queen, or anyone else. I mean, those Valkyries went after that wall too. But look at this. We've got 81%. We've got a minute left. Um, we're going to use our queen's ability in just a second. Their queen is about to go down immediately by those Valkyries. But now, now those Valkyries, all they skipped this one little portion. So we got to get some of them up in there. The queen's doing her job. Uh, gosh, I don't know. It's going to be close, guys. The, <laughs> the king's just following them around. Look at this. He's like, all right, ladies, you do all the work and I'll just watch. Watch, he's going to stop. Oh, no, he's just... He's, I don't even know what the king's doing anymore. Oh no, our queen went down, but that's okay, because guys, look at this. We've got all of our Valkyries. I hadn't even used the king's ability yet. 100% from all of those Valkyries. Mass Valkyrie attack. The loot wasn't that good, but I wasn't going for loot, guys. I was just going to absolutely embarrass somebody. And Artuzio just got embarrassed by a whole bunch of girls. And one guy that was following him around kind of creepy. I would say the king was kind of creepy, guys. He was just watching them. 
being weird. But that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. That's just a random a random all unit thing. Why don't you guys comment down below other random attack strategies you might want to see, uh, and I'll do a video on it and see how they go. Because I feel like you guys are better at coming up with attack strategies than I am sometimes. I haven't come up with a new attack strategy in forever. So if you guys are using something that works pretty well, comment it down below. Make sure you leave a like on the video. And as always, guys, keep calm and clash on them, right? See you guys later. Peace.